My name is Dave Park, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Narada AI, an AI assistant based on new research from UC Berkeley. Narada can plan, orchestrate, and execute complex tasks across your siloed business tools just by chatting with it. I'm Dave Park, CEO and co-founder of Narada AI, and joining me on stage is my CTO and co-founder, Amir Golami. And we are here to finally bring the AI revolution to the enterprise. So where exactly is the AI revolution in the, in the enterprise? Manual processes are still costing companies over 20% of their revenue each year. The average knowledge worker deals with 30 different apps. Two and a half hours every single day is wasted just updating internal records. AI tools like ChatGPT are great to help my son write his English paper, but they're not designed to execute complex tasks across your work tools. What we need, what we all need, is for AI to grow up and get a job. <laughs> we need an assistant like Siri to wake up, get certified on the common business tools, put on a tie, and get to work. To make this a reality, we had to start with an entirely new approach. Two years ago, when everybody was focused on large language models that generate content like ChatGPT, we started working on large action models that generate actions. And based on new research that we performed at the UC Berkeley AI Lab, we developed a large action model for the enterprise that plans, orchestrates, and executes across your work tools just by chatting with it. And I'm proud to announce that we're coming out of beta testing and launching our first product here at TechCrunch. It's your large action model that works across your work tools that's now a side pane in your browser. There's no configuration, no scripting, and it works completely out of the box. You don't need an engineering degree from Berkeley to use it. Actually, you don't need to spend tons of money getting Accenture to come in and set up the automation. We believe that AI automation should be simple and accessible to everybody in the workplace, regardless of your background. Let me show you Narada in action. One of the first use cases of Narada is to actually understand your business conversations over meetings and email. Got it? It's not showing up. Are we switching to demo? Yes. You can actually chat with Narada through the side pane. If you can switch to the demo. I'm seeing the demo on my computer, so if uh, somebody's coming up. And what it does is it actually understands your business conversations, takes notes automatically, even understands your email conversations to turn them into action. So here, it actually took notes for me with a customer call that we had recently. Narada generated a summary along with action items, but here's where Narada is unique. It can actually turn these notes into action. So for example, I can tell it to send a thank you email to the customer, recap the next steps from this meeting, ask if they're free for coffee on Monday, and suggest some good coffee shops in Berkeley. Narada then kicks into gear, and it actually orchestrates across your work tools to actually generate the actual action. I think the internet here is not uh, working. It looks like the internet is down. <laughs> <laughs> it can actually also do one of the most painful things, which I'll show you here in a second. It can actually HubSpot. update CRMs, like HubSpot. You can ask it to, for example, run a Bant sales analysis on your meeting. And it'll actually look up what Bant sales analysis means, apply it to my meeting notes, then it'll actually go into my HubSpot, here it, you'll see in a second, and operate HubSpot as if I'm doing it, going to the right page, clicking on the right buttons, and actually updating HubSpot with a band sales analysis of this meeting. Finally, it can also actually execute across my email. 
If I go into my email, and let's say somebody sends me a meeting request with his Calendly link, one of my biggest pet, pet peeves, it'll actually analyze the email, go into his Calendly link, cross-reference his availability with mine, and actually show me times that work for both of us. And if I select the time that I want, it'll actually finish the process by updating a Calendly. So here's really quickly one of the examples. Check this out. It actually orchestrates across my tools, checks my calendar availability, goes online to do some re research, goes into the meeting notes here in my browser, and puts it all together in an email, and notice that it leaves the last step of reviewing, editing, and hitting the send button up to me. And here, I told it to run a band sales analysis, and check this out. It actually goes to find out what band means, applies it to the meeting notes in my browser, then this is all happening automatically. It operates HubSpot as if I'm doing it and populating it with a band sales analysis. Back to the slides. Here's what's happening under the hood. Narada actually takes complex tasks, breaks it down into many smaller steps that are easier to reason about, plans, orchestrates, and executes it via both API backend function calling, or if APIs are inaccessible, it'll operate it through the front end as if I'm doing it. And Narada knows how to plan, orchestrate, and execute across a fast-growing list of applications, email, Slack, CRM tools, ticketing systems. And every time we teach Narada a new tool, say ServiceNow or Workday, which is on our roadmap, the possible permutations and combinations of workflows that can be spoken into existence explode exponentially. We've been in beta testing, but we already have five commercial pilots going. One is actually turning into a PO this week, and actually Red Hat's in contracts and procurement. But at the same time, we're actually forging OEM partnerships with a top three AI automation company to embed our large action models within their platform. Cisco has chosen us as an AI hub partner, and we're actually exploring ways to integrate Narada's large action models within their WebEx collaboration and meeting platform. And finally, unlike foundational models like an OpenAI or Anthropic, our models can be deployed fully on-prem to preserve privacy and security. But more importantly, we've got the team to make this happen. I started my first company out of the CS PhD program, turned research into product, bootstrapped it to a $375 million acquisition. Now, this time around, I teamed up with Berkeley, Amir and Kurt Koitzer, who's an AI professor, who led the research behind Narada and presented it at the top AI co conferences in the world. And our team has put together an amazing technology, and we've not taken a single dime of VC money to date. That said, this space is too big and important. We're going off for our first price round next month. Finally, it's not about us. It's about you guys. Come talk to us about your most painful workflows. We started this company by doing 1,000 customer calls to understand where the pain was. We want to hear your pain. And actually, if we're fortunate enough to make it to the final round, we'll show you one of the most painful things that people hate to do, expense reports. Thank you. All right, thank you, Narada AI. Thank you for rolling with the disrupt Wi-Fi, which can be a little unpredictable, but uh, judges. Can you tell us, you mentioned you teach Narada a new tool. What is the process of teaching it a new tool? Walk us through that. Yeah, maybe I can take a stab at that. So uh, we use uh, fine-tuning, parameter-efficient fine-tuning like LoRa. Uh, so we have open source models. Uh, we create synthetic data. We don't train on customer data at all. So we had actually a paper in ACL where we showed how we can create synthetic data. And we basically perform LoRa updating on the, like one of the open source models. And uh, we basically specialize it into doing a specific thing. So for example, for operating Salesforce, for operating HubSpot, for operating SAP Concare, which is, which is upcoming. Great question. Your product seems to be able to support a number of different workflows and use cases. And you gave a few examples. In light of that, how are you thinking about prioritizing which verticals and which kinds of customers to go after as you start out? I could take a first stab at that. We're actually starting with frontline sales and customer support, helping them with their email, calendar, meeting, and CRM uh, workflows. But as Narada learns more tools, SAP, Workday, going deeper into the back office, basically we're able to land and expand into other business units who need real help. 
How do you guys think about the competitive landscape? Great question. So obviously, a lot of platforms and ecosystem vendors are incorporating AI into their platforms. What we found in 1,000 customer calls is that the workflows that are really painful involve many steps and many tools and ecosystems. The AI in Microsoft cannot coordinate and talk to the AI in Google, let alone the AI in Salesforce.com. We're agnostic, orchestrating and planning and executing across all those tools and ecosystems versus just staying within one. Can I piggybacking off of that? Can you talk a little bit about security? And I'm sure many enterprises would love to customize the tools yes. specific to their. So can you just um, share how you're navigating that? Yes, I can take a quick stab at that too. So we focus on the brain and the orchestration and pl planning layer. If let's say a big customer said, no, we want to use our own Llama-based custom models for email generation, no problem. You swap in their LLM, custom LLM, and Nerada will orchestrate that. Furthermore, you brought up a very important point. Enterprises will value security and privacy more and more with the advent of AI. Our models, again, can be fully deployed on-prem for our largest customers and partners, which we're doing right now. When you guys add voice into the application, and how important is that going forward, do you think? We have it already. You can actually, so instead of typing, you can hit the microphone button and talk to it. And actually, if we make it to the finals, we'll show you a little demo of how you can actually chat with it or even interact with it, have it do tasks over mobile, where it's really painful to do some of these tasks. Can I ask, d does it prompt you? Like, if I forgot to follow up with somebody, is it going to remind me, rather than me having to go in and ask, hey, you know, debrief this call or update my HubSpot, will it remind me? You have to do that. Ah, so that is our next step. We're already incorporating proactive AI. So I don't know, I'm sorry we couldn't show, show you the Calendly link because the internet was down. But when I go into my email, I don't even have to prompt it. It sees that I'm looking at that email with my colleague who sent me his Calendly link. It'll proactively in the side side pane show me times that work for, for, for both of us versus me prompting it. But that said, imagine now that Nerada can incorporate into WebEx, Zoom, all the meeting data, it can look across that data and proactively suggest action items that I've forgotten. If I said, I'll send you the updated uh, term sheet by the end of you know, next week, it'll basically proactively remind me. Do we have a final quick question? All right, give it up for Narada AI. <laughs>